complete polyp resection with cold snare versus hot snare polypectomy for polyps of 4 to 9 millimeters, a randomized controlled trial. Introduction. Endoscopic screening for colorectal cancer, CRC, has been shown to reduce the incidence of CRC in randomized controlled trials. This effect is due to removal of possible CRC precursors, polyps, by polypectomy. However, some individuals are diagnosed with CRC after colonoscopy, so-called post-colonoscopy cancer. Several mechanisms may explain this phenomenon. The lesion, CRC or polyp, was missed at the previous endoscopic examination. The CRC is new and rapidly growing. The cancer develops in an incompletely removed polyp. In 2013, Pohl et al. showed that 10% of sessile or flat polyps are incompletely removed. In 2020, the authors showed an incomplete resection rate of 15.9%. It is estimated that incomplete polyp removal may account for 19% to 27% of post-colonoscopy CRCs. Polypectomy is usually performed by snare removal as recommended by European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ESGE, guidelines. For polyps smaller than 10 millimeters in diameter, either hot snare polypectomy using electrocautery or cold snare polypectomy without electrocautery may be applied. The most serious complication associated with polypectomy is perforation. These perforations most often result from electrocautery, which is avoided with cold snare polypectomy. Bleeding complications after hot snare polypectomy or cold snare polypectomy have been well studied and rates are comparable. There have been no perforations in comparative studies, but one study found that hot snare polypectomy was more often associated with post-procedural abdominal complaints than cold snare polypectomy. Because polyps smaller than 10 millimeters are numerous, 90% of all polyps, management of these polyps is important. Many endoscopists have endorsed cold snare polypectomy as it is quicker and associated with a lower risk of perforation. However, reports of its efficacy with respect to complete polypectomy have been conflicting. Some studies have reported comparable resection rates, while others have found hot snare polypectomy to be favorable to cold snare polypectomy. A recent meta-analysis showed that the risk of incomplete resection does not differ between hot snare polypectomy and cold snare polypectomy, but there was significant heterogeneity between the trials. Also, in some randomized trials and retrospective reports, cold snare polypectomy was performed with the use of dedicated cold snares, which may have influenced the results. Finally, most of the studies were performed in Asian populations and most were single center. The aims of this international multicenter randomized trial were to compare hot snare polypectomy and cold snare polypectomy in terms of the rate of incomplete polyp resection and risk of complications and to identify factors that could predict incomplete resection. Methods. Peterson et al. included patients aged 40 years and older at eight hospitals in four countries who had at least one non-pedunculated polyp of 4 to 9 millimeters detected at colonoscopy. Patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to cold snare polypectomy or hot snare polypectomy. Biopsies from the resection margins were obtained systematically after polypectomy in both groups. The authors hypothesized that cold snare polypectomy would be non-inferior to hot snare polypectomy with a non-inferiority margin of 5%. Logistic regression models were fitted to identify the factors explaining incomplete resection. Results, 425 patients with 601 polyps randomized to either cold snare polypectomy or hot snare polypectomy were included in the analysis. Of 318 polyps removed by cold snare polypectomy and 283 polyps removed by hot snare polypectomy, 10.7% and 7.4% were incompletely resected, respectively, with an adjusted risk difference of 3.2%. There was no difference between the groups in terms of post-polypectomy bleeding, perforation, or abdominal pain. Independent risk factors for incomplete removal were serrated histology and hyperplastic histology in adjusted analyses. Conclusion. In this randomized trial, non-inferiority for cold snare polypectomy could not be demonstrated. Polyps with serrated histology are more prone to incomplete resection compared with adenomas. Cold snare polypectomy can be used safely for small polyps in routine colonoscopy practice.